Okay guys, this is day one of building my new goldfish greenhouse. I really have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just gonna read the directions and hope I do it correctly. So let's get started. Okay, so I did not post these clips in a chronological order in which I did them, but I did post them in the order that makes sense. So first up, uh, obviously you gotta clean. I power washed the concrete and the fence because we never never did that while the other greenhouse was there. Uh, and then I had to dig out a trench to where we were gonna be posting the wood that's gonna be supporting the entire greenhouse. Um, this greenhouse was going over concrete and grass. We decided to put some wood up against the fence to be the supporting side on the part over the grass because we didn't want it lopsided. Uh, I also put some chicken wire and some bricks down there to help prevent any pests from digging underneath this greenhouse and getting in. I also found a cicada while I did this. Uh, next up was assembling the actual greenhouse, building the window and building the first door. Uh, I did that on the first day and it took me kind of a while. Uh, it, it, was, it was a big adjustment getting used to these screws in, this, in the directions because they, they were not super clear and not super straightforward. Next up was building the front face of the greenhouse, and this honestly was pretty straightforward. I, it was pretty easy, except for the fact that while I was building this entire greenhouse, it was like 95 degrees for one day, like 99 the next, and then 98 the next. Uh, we just had back-to-back -back days of extreme, extreme heat. I literally sweat out gallons of water while I was doing this. I was drinking like this entire juice bottle worth of water, and I, I wouldn't even pee. So it was all coming out of sweat. Maybe too much information. Back to the greenhouse. After finishing the front face and the, the, middle, the middle skeleton of it, I put all those against the wall and began working on the rear face where I tried to reverse the doors but failed miserably so we'll just not be using the rear doors and it's not really accessible anyway. Next up was putting the plastic panels on the front and rear side of the greenhouse. You did this step first before even assembling the full greenhouse because it's gonna be hard to drill those panels in sideways after you've already assembled the structure. One problem I kept having here is that the panels in the front face did not perfectly fit over the metal skeleton and I believe that's kind of my fault because I don't think I assembled the metal skeleton in the exact way it should have been. But it ended up being okay, I just trimmed off the sides. The next step was taking the front and back faces and adding legs on them to begin making this structure three-dimensional. Attaching the first set of sidebars had to be done on the grass because I needed the faces down and I didn't want them getting scratched up on the concrete. Throughout this entire process, I had my sister Sadin helping me on a lot of tasks that I could not do by myself, so shout out to my lawyer sister that took time out of her day to help her brother build a goldfish greenhouse. When I was building the sidebars that would bring the rear face of the greenhouse to meet the front face of the greenhouse, I kept thinking about how they had that big celebration when the two railroads met across the country and was low-key considering inviting over some neighbors to celebrate the joining of the greenhouse. But I didn't because I had too much work to do. After the greenhouse was finally joined, it was time to prepare the panels that would go over the sides of the greenhouse. Now, preparing these panels was easy, but setting these panels in was one of the most frustrating things I've ever done. It was very hard and I had to redo it a ton of times to get these panels to fit perfectly in place because the structure was not fully solidified in the foundation and it couldn't be until the end. And because of this, there was some little bit of warping in the metal, which made it very hard to fit these panels on. Another frustrating thing is that I hit my head on this door twice in the same day. Putting in the last three panels was definitely the hardest because there's no wiggle room at the end. You just have to make it fit. But I was able to get them in and after that I began sizing the legs to raise the greenhouse up off the ground a little bit because the lowest point of the greenhouse was the panels and I did not want this entire structure being bolted on by these weak plastic panels. After this, the greenhouse was basically done. We just had to do a couple minor adjustments on the panels overhead, as well as sizing and boarding up some wood in between the plastic panels and the bottom of the greenhouse. We wanted to do this to prevent airflow from coming in and out from beneath here, as well as preventing any pests from coming in. Overall, I'm very happy with how this greenhouse came out. It took me around 11 days to complete. And I also have to say thank you to my father who helped me a ton with this. He helped a lot with the basic measurements on the foundation and wood for boarding up. And also just helping me out and planning the basics of where this thing was going to be built and how we're going to set it in place. 
Now, obviously, there's still a ton of interior work to do in this greenhouse that I'll be doing over the coming weeks and months, but for now, it is ready to hold the six new goldfish I recently just got that you guys will be seeing in my next video that will be the parents of hopefully thousands of baby ranchu goldfish that I'm going to be breeding and using this greenhouse to grow out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'm really excited to see what comes of this greenhouse in the coming months.